Nathan. I'm the founder and CEO of Zeroda, India's largest uh, brokerage firm. We are eight years old now. First three or four years of our life, you know, uh, as Zeroda, we were focusing more on pricing, transparency, and all of that. The last four or five years has been around uh, us being more a technology business today than than brokerage. And so today, broking is actually incidental to technology business and not really the primary thing that we do. So today we are probably truly a fintech business. We are a million clients plus today. When we started the business, uh, everyone else was uh, charging so much more and we knew that by leveraging technology, we can break the price in line. And, uh, and that was what went into determining what we charge. Uh, we started off the business charging 20 rupees a trade. You know, so you could buy and sell stocks for as much for just 20 rupees. And then, you know, over time, what we also did was people who buy and sell stocks and keep it to the next day, which is called Investor Plus. We we kind of went zero brokerage on them because uh, uh, because we were trying to expand the investing community in India. And we thought, you know, maybe my uh, ch charging zero, you know, maybe more people will be interested to learn about it. Uh, so that's that kind of determine it now, as I said, now, uh, how we started charging present. Uh, but one thing I think in, in financial services is, is guaranteed is disintermediation. You know? So it, I, I think if there is a way for a transaction to happen with a lesser number of people involved in between, that's going to happen over time. Uh, so whatever product that you're trying to build, uh, just remember that uh, every, everyone's getting disrupted, so like I keep telling our team here that maybe you know uh, there's there's someone else who's thinking of, of doing broking in a different way and, and disrupt what we do as a business. I think there's is there's going to be no status quo on this, you know? so I think um, like every financial services firm is going to be disrupted with all the disintermediation that's happening right now in India.